Okay, well, I wake up this morning and I find out that Obama did not accept Boner's proposal. Now, why do you suppose that is? Well, maybe, maybe Lieutenant Colonel Allen West has it right. Obama's a spoiled brat. But more importantly, what it shows is that Boner and those guys in Congress are weak and they're not serious about standing up for constitutional issues uh, for whatever reason, whatever you know is going on. They, uh, they should be in a non-negotiating position as far as the Constitution is, is concerned and upon these issues um, that it actually endanger the, the Bill of Rights and the, the, the security and privacy of the American people. To even uh, begin to negotiate on that or to compromise is wrong. But I, I find it interesting that even that far that they went for the six-week limit, uh, Obama denied. Uh, so uh, and and they and they just fall back on it, you know. Uh, so anyway, uh, my my uh, feelings on them still stand. As I said, I, I think that most of them are are uh, cowards or they have uh, uh, ulterior purposes in, in doing what they do. This isn't about politics. This is about force. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so we'll see where it goes from here. I just think it's interesting uh, what's happened. And I just have to add in here real quick, you know, what's the game being played? Maybe it is that they're, you know, rushing ahead and, and launching this financial collapse so that uh, they can pull off some things. Um, if they know the American dollar, the petrodollar is going to fall anyway, Maybe they need to seize what they can while they can. You know, I don't really know. All I know is, is that none of this makes any sense from any logical, reasonable point of view. So uh, it still stands, you know. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your ears to the ground and get prepared. Uh, Lindsey Graham, I wanted to go there for a minute because, uh, you know, Brandon Thornton and I were talking and, uh, you know, He's right. Uh, when Lindsey Graham said that there was going to be a nuclear explosion in South Carolina if we didn't invade Syria, and it was funny that he made that statement the same day those nukes were being transferred from Dias Air Force Base in Texas, somehow he knew about that and knew what the plan was, that these nukes were being given to people outside the normal channels. Uh, who to? I don't know. Uh, but the point is that this was not a rhetorical, uh, oh, what if? No. Uh, this was a blackmail against the people of his own state and, and the people of the United States. Uh, that if you don't do what we tell you to do, this is going to happen. And he was, he was on the inside track information on what was going on here. At least that's, that's the evidence. You know, you look, at, you look at what he knew, what he said, you know, all these types of things. And uh, definitely there's a connection. Uh, I don't believe it was just a rhetorical statement. Now, more importantly... Uh, he may have been thinking, well, you know, I've been calling for these raids on Syria and Iran, this, this war, and, uh, you know, uh, I can say that you know, they're going to come after me now and after my state. Either way, it's a, it's a blackmail and it's, it's a fraud. And he should be arrested because it's obvious he knew something, and if nothing else, he was making a, a, a blackmail statement there of, of, of immense proportions. The, the guy is, is disgusting. Uh, he, he really does need to be arrested. Um, I wanted to bring up real quick about this thing with the military. You know, we're seeing these generals relieved. I don't believe for a second the excuses that we're being given for this. And the, the unfortunate thing is that these guys aren't speaking out. Um, you know, again, you know, I go back to this thing about unauthorized disclosure and all that. And they're worried about their retirement. They're probably worried about their families. Look, look, gentlemen, um, you know, you took an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States. That takes precedence over everything else. You know, if you know something, you really need to speak up, okay, regardless of the consequences. Okay, that's just the way it is. To the military in general, I want to say this to you, okay? Pat Tillman, General Ham, SEAL Team 6, now General Kerry and Admiral Giardina, and how many more? How many more have been sacrificed for this regime? When are you going to stand up and do what's right? Or at least stand down when the people rise up and try to stop this thing. Don't get involved. Unless the DHS tries to attack them and then you should protect the people. 
Yeah, I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't trust anybody in the military, although I keep seeing them drop like flies, either by getting fired or by getting killed. You guys got to be seeing this. You've got to be seeing it. Out here. <laughs> 